has issues with putting ego into how he says Friant. We'll have to mark that as an area for improvement. <coughs> it's okay. We'll build up your ego. <laughs> we'll Maybe mark yourself that as for an area too. for improvement. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you gonna, Ghost, you going to take the invite? I haven't, I haven't gotten one. invited him yet. I was waiting for him to actually be online. Ah. Uh, three, 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 switch on my... Okay, let's get League of Legends streaming on my phone since it's connected to my wireless network. So what network are you actually using to play now? Uh, my I just upgraded my home network. That's I how know. it actually worked. Yes. I no longer get 15 megabytes. I get 50. Ah, nice. So, on the public test, I was able to play with my, the North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Playing that one match that I played with her has convinced me to get through the Colorado because holy shit, was that awesome. <laughs> there should be no need to, like, convince yourself. I, I, let me put it this way. It convinced me that I'm not going to sell the ship after I get the Iowa. Okay, that's fair. All right, we ready? Yep. Yep. Is the hood available on the PCS when you... Um, I didn't see it. Yeah. I think you have to... I didn't see a way to get it, so... Oh, okay. It could be I, I just not seeing something obvious, or you gotta do something Probably to that. get it, but I didn't see it. God damn it, phone, cooperate. Work! I wanna see TSM 1 -er. They apparently lost game 1 and 2, and now they're. But they won game 3 and a best of 5, so. The reverse sweep dream is still a possibility. Who was this? League of Legends. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell's going on. Uh, do we have Faye, or...? Where are we? We're spawning... South-ish of Sure, Central. let's go for A. set it up so I could watch my phone. Ah. And my game isn't loading. You lovely. Did you reuse your old mods? I updated them. Okay, so you're using a completely new I Which I, I thought they were updated. No, just slow load. Alright. God damn it, fine. Cooperate. I want to see TSM. While I boat. I know, I'm very fucking demanding. Deal with it, fam. <laughs> Just deal with it. Dude. Why do I have this image of you uh, acting like Korra in the first episode? You'll need to specify you say which things series. Like that. Legend of Korra, the I Avatar. I haven't actually seen any of that. I have seen. Ah the first series. I saw a couple of episodes of the Legend of Korra, but not much. I just have didn't quite catch me as uh, much as uh, Last Airbender. Mm. 
Okay, there's somebody coming around the corner. I've got an RDF on A. Okay. What's the range of my torps? Six kilometers. I'm spotted. Well, it could be the Wix. No. It's the Dresden. Yeah, that's the one problem. And I can't fucking torpedo because the Camelton is so fucking. Do you want to keep using? See my straight line. Fuck you, Camelton. You did absolutely jack off. And I got shot up by the fucking Comanche. God damn. Quatch just used his, in. used his repair. Oh dear. Um, he's also fucking visible. Ha, there he is. I have the sinking feeling that I'm gonna be... Sinking. No! I shot at but... No, he's you very went much for you? What the hell? I'm at 6k HP, in case you didn't know. Yeah, okay. The Dresden kind of fucked me up because I didn't realize my reloads took fucking ever. Well, he's gonna get torqued now by, uh... The fucking cancer is Campbellton. Yes, I have. I have done exactly all well. for damage. Somebody's aiming. Yeah, it's the fucking same place. Fuck off, you fuckers. Oh, and he gets a fucking devastating strike after I'm working over the fucking. Ugh. Yeah, he. Okay, that's disgusting. Fuck you, Campbellton. Yeah. He's playing jumping about with this. I do. 
damn this gun module. Holy crap. My if God, any no. other, uh, the Kawachi special module, ah. if any other cruiser could fit it, it'd be completely broken. I yes. No what you're talking about. Oh, Are you uh, talking about Katori? Katori? Well, yeah. then use the right fucking word. Whoopsie. You still got your plane? Yep. Could you pop it, please? Yeah, already done. But thanks for reminding me. I forgot. It's alright. Yeah. The, the Campbellton's going to steal this kill, too. I chose the other wrong fucking way. Come on! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this thing can be outrun by Kawachi. Yes, yes. Because it, it has no horsepower. 18 fucking... And it's turning so Holy fast. shit, the Hamilton just missed its torpedoes. Well, <laughs> this Kawachi actually knows how to fucking dodge. Oh. Yeah, flooding will probably get him. Yeah. I got 20k. We went for the ass position on uh, the Campbelltown. Scuns, I'd be tempted by it. Just to get a destroyer skipper for the Brits, but. Uh. You play a fucking British cruiser almost like a destroyer. True. So what's the point? Yeah. And I have a 10 point skipper sitting in the Leander I got from the winter missions, so. Fuck that exactly. noise. God damn it, the stream. You know, I think the St. Louis is faster than the Katori. It is. I max <laughs> out at 18 knots. And you max out at what, 21? 22. <sighs> and he's going round. Oh, great. Yeah, he's going for a. We're going to win off points. Yep. Now the Countdown can probably run down the same way. This Cable 10 isn't going to try. Ah, uh, yes, he is. Look at his angling. Huh. Yeah. On your right, you're right. I do kind of wonder about the torpedo launchers on this thing. Amazing angles, but what's the point of mounting torpedo launchers on something this slow? Ah, uh, torpedoes. It's a training ship. So, yeah. the, so they give the crew experience using torpedoes and add a, everything else yeah. to deal with them. I hadn't realized it actually has five inch check berries. I think it has one. Yep. Which is also its anti aircraft gun. Yep. Oh, he's trying to kill you, Drake. No fucking shit. That's what I would do. Yeah. That's, right. yeah, that's the one nice thing. I th think you might have ran aground. Yeah, you're on aground. That's the one nice thing about the French ship. They have very nice fire starter. They also have a fair nice gun ox once you get to the turreted ships. Which is like tier three. Which is the ship I'm on. Some of the angles you can pull off and. Uh, are almost the US friendships are pretty broken. I'm trying to figure out the exact like direction.
direction I was on. No, I don't think I a single person shot at me this whole game. Lucky fucking you. Steal that kill from him, ghost. Nice. Uh, I can deny it. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna pull up and listen to Riot Gaming while I stream on my computer. Fuck it. Orianna can have an even bigger one. That shockwave can nice. really quickly swing the fight in Giga Light Marine's favor. And as long as TSM is playing smooth and smart, and just gradually sieging on through the turret, they can use that ball as a zoning tool to get themselves an objective and get themselves further ahead in the goal. There you go, another objective, another little gold boost, and now they've got the tracked dragon. This mountain number one this game. It has been a day of mountains and infernal. Oh, yeah. There's been so many of these damn things. I don't yep. think I've seen a single cloud drake. Are you sad about that? Not even a yeah. little bit. Yeah. <laughs> this so is the ship they earned. He, um, with the rare with. Okay. Fraternity. One of me. Trying to defend it as long as he can. But it's a five man move from the Gigabyte Marines. TSM can't defend it now. Haunts are trying to go back into this. I don't know if that was. I'm still amused that the, that the A gun on the turret blocks the yeah. view from the bridge. And it looks like it. They just plunked a bucket on top of the turret. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Ready? Yep. Yep. Instead, TSM, they're going to hold off. And they're just going to reset the game. Now, I think that was a big mistake from Hornsey. He shouldn't have stuck around that tower when it was guaranteed to go down against five. Members. How do people not realize? It's like, yes, there's a fucking patch out. <laughs> Gigabyte Marine. <laughs> keeping the game extremely close. Three to three in towers. The gold is basically even. But with the TP gone for Optimus as well, it limits the ability for the Gigabyte Marines to effectively use their one through one. I mean, the first time that we see a big fight happen this game, the first time that there's something that really just explodes, like full on 5v5, that's going to determine a lot this about the tempo favorable. for the rest of the game, just because of how close this has stayed so far. For any Sorry. little thing, any little mistake. Oh, that turns yeah, out I'll take game, this instead of having to see tier 7s. Yep. And this is the kind of game that I really want. Because in game three, it was definitely a one sided stomp from TSM, which was great. But in terms of competitiveness, you want to see both. Oh, come on. There we go. I wonder if TSM will actually uh, get eliminated. Be forced to play in the elimination matches. Action stations. Are we making for A? Sure. Action. Unless you have got a better idea. TBB's north side, only one south side. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we're going for A? Uh, nope. C. C, okay. Swinging her around, Captain. Yep. No, no, no. You're the Captain. Since he's the division leader, he's the Commodore. Okay, fair well, enough. Technically, you can still be a Captain and lead other Captains. Yeah, but... Uh, it just becomes when, a factor of seniority. Yeah, he's the senior Doesn't captain. That, does, don't you also get a courtesy promotion, actually? Uh, not necessarily. Technically, I think Commodore is a retired rank in the U.S. Navy, if I recall correctly. Huh. Yeah, it's um like they have a it half rank. A, it might be it. Well, it's not a half rank. It's more of a um L lower half and upper half. No, that's Rear Admiral. Commodore doesn't exist. Uh, 
technically speaking. Oh wow, that Omaha is pushing into B. Suspicion, I would not do that. Oh, wow. This feels freaky. If you want to really, really, really be freaked out by how fast and agile the French cruisers are, play the Katari first. <laughs> okay, anything would feel agile after the Katari, but Jesus. Come on out, Emerald, I have a nice little gift for you. Holy shit, the Arizona was trying to say hello. That's. The Arizona said hello to me. I don't need uh, Miss Prude to say hi. Getting the malls off. Citadel, the Emerald and it Smith. Nice. I managed to force it pens on uh, the balls off. Apparently, only Citadel the Emerald. And now I have everyone's attention in the middle. Yay! Oh well, two kills. I'll take it.
just watch that Arizona. Here, have some fish. Shit. Damn. I don't think he turned enough. Probably right. I didn't realize Oh, I took 12k off. I didn't realize that someone put New Mexico at that low of HP. Got one hit on him, nice. Yep, and then just a flooding hit. Is your PC hit? No. Nice. And the Arizona ate one from the Kamikaze. Yes. Now it's TSM's turn, Vettius, to pressure onto the inhibitor line and see what they can find. There's Glug, 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 glug. Well, you are on low health. Yeah, true. The Aoba is at less health, but... <laughs> what is up tier? <laughs> is that an excuse for me to get more damage? Yes. Uh, I think I hit three targets this game. No, four. And I've done 72 dam K damage. Put the good, put the good. <laughs> Steve! Uh, nah, that was legit. The importance there for me was that he died. Because, uh... I can deal with the Kirishima. Yeah. Not so much. I mean, especially at point blank range. Oh! I had to hurt. Yeah, I did. Got it! Oh. <laughs> Congrats! Boom! We need a oh, combat. You, uh, you did that perfectly on time, man. For that crack. Holy shit. Well, one, two. Five. Not bad for our division. Yep. And take the I like their music. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> uh, that felt pretty dirty. Also, you guys can take a look at how much damage I dealt. Particularly against that poor, poor emerald. <laughs> how many shots? Hits that I land on him. I landed a grand total of four hits on the emerald for over 30,000 damage. Oh, uh, what is that? Two citadels? Yes. One of those was not a full damage citadel. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I know how you turn. Smack! <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that was a success. How about we repeat it? Direct correl no. Well, Juliet Charlie, which is actually always nice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand the people who complain about it being bad. Just which one's Julia Charlie? Anti dad. Yeah. Always helpful. Mm -hmm. 
Ready? Yep. Oh, we gotta get you out of that thing, Drake. This hasn't been so bad yet. <laughs> Your tolerance for that thing amazes me. My tolerance for a lot of things amazes people. Theoretically, never should have happened. Like, theoretically, you take that in, you back away, you take the Baron, you reset, you've got a 1-3-1 one, one comp that you just go, okay, nobody can fight our phase, really, and then you just push in the rest of the, the lanes, and then suddenly you're in such a commanding there would position be for carriers. Go all the way with that base defense. And it would be a 2 game. Then put the on the what? Oh, and no! Like what are you up. fucking talking oh, about, Ghost? I haven't <laughs> seen the uh, team Ghost? Yet. The Ghost? Are you yeah. dumb? No, I haven't yes. seen the team list yet. Well, so I thing. just assumed we've got uh, fucking tiered. straight, which is really unfortunate. It's straight, it's ass. Yep. And there are two emeralds on the enemy team, which I don't like. And that's the problem. Sometimes it's hard to predict that someone's going to go forward when you expect them to run away. Just keep your end goal in mind. But sometimes that can backfire. The guide. And it's lovely, lovely 150s. I don't really care. I'm just playing the boat because I'm playing the boat. Okay. <laughs> this is me we're talking about. I don't mind grinding a ship or two. Okay, the game didn't load for me. What the hell? Uh, play without mods? Yeah, something's broken. Load from an SSD. That's what I. Oh, do. I don't have an SSD. That might be ah. a thing. Yeah. There's Most game nowadays up, up, uh, optimized first. Well, SSD it doesn't loaded. matter because it's a fucking solid state drive. It's optimized for running things. <laughs> yep. Damn, what did they build this thing off? Balsam wood? Why do you ask? Because it's more agile than any tier 5 cruiser I remember playing. Why am I. Do I have high explosive loaded? Because you're in a cruiser? Oh, didn't attend to. Three planes, go away. Three. Well, he's a fighter bug, so. License to ignore. Well, aside from when he sends his dive bombers. Motherfuckers. Aha! The dive bombers missed. And I'm doing my level best to shred Are the these spiders. Are blind firing at me? I think so. Well, not to surprise me. And I'm finally in. Ugh. He ventured his uh, fighters towards the top bombers. No shit. Mike's fuck you. I was just afraid he'd spot you as a result of it. I'm already spotted because I'm shooting big things. Uh. Mother. Mother. Okay, that Clemson is out of smoke. Yeah. Because he's spotting me. No, he's not. Did you fire your guns recently? Or is there another destroyer? Another destroyer. Yeah, B.70. Go away. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck him. <laughs> nice. Very nicely done. Ow. Ow. That fucking device uh, focusing me. And so there's a lot of other things because I'm still in a stockhold. 
the ship. You have the meal contained? The emerald that's on our flank, they should I'm say. Moving next to him while... Ah, sip pit. That's just Torps. New York just used his repair. Oh, that New York has target fixation. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And that was AP. That last volley. Need help with the Kaiser? Nope. We just raised <laughs> him the negative. That wasn't a battle, that was a curb stump. Well, it started with me torpedoing their fucking destroyer. Yep. I had a late load and I'm third on the team. <laughs> I was, uh,. It's your pig trick. Hang on one sec. I'm quitting. Wait, what? When we get in the room, fucking Twitch commercials. It's like, no, this is not what I want to fucking watch. I want to fucking hear silver scrapes, goddammit. Poor Drake. Fuck you.
can go back to fucking Twitch. Fucking ads that you can't make go away. Gets to punch their ticket after this next game. They are riding the momentum train right now, getting two pretty convincing victories. At least game three was very convincing for TSM, but then game four. Waiting on you, sir. I know. I had to. Really I'm going to grab my own Katori and I had to put in a captain. Ah. Ready? Yep. TSM were very quick to say no. Yeah, that's the, and that's kind of the experience that you're talking about, right? That's the difference. TSM, a team that's got a long history of competitive League of Legends. TSM, a team that's from one of the regions that's considered part of the Big Five. You know, this is a team who's had experience with situations like those before. And so while a team like the Gigabyte Marines could go in and say, look, we're going to pull the trigger, we're going to make this happen. This is our decisive trait showing up right now. TSM knows better. TSM says that's not going to work against us, and they do not allow that to happen. And that might just be Pure another marketing TSM back to what we were talking about. It. The Giga Marines are the... playing teams that they don't get, and so when you have to play against a team that you can't just run over so easily, decisions that were previously correct suddenly become incorrect simply because I hate the fact that I have a fucking 12-second reload so time. So right? The way in which Optimus and Levi have used that level six spike on the field. So where do we want to go? Between B and C A, I have for a me. half speed right now. Yeah, and half speed for you is what, 20 knots? No, it's about 15. Now I'm going about three quarters. Yeah, the synergy between Levi and Optimus was really nice in that game. Like you mentioned, the mid lane, the power spike at level 6, and as soon as that fish was available, Dirk's in the fish. Right? Multiple. Wild Turtle enjoy the fun of playful tricks yeah. to chum the waters collateral damage, destroying his entire health. Board. It was not something where these guys were just playing like a sloppy bad game. No. They just had a couple of very costly mistakes, especially that one that you said where they tried to push onto the Nexus and find the win, and those ultimately cost them. Now they've got one more chance to try to win here. And it's so exciting. Where we go to the final game, we get to see how things shift in the pick and bat. They're just going to keep things the way that they are because it's now worked for them two games in a row. But I wonder whether or not that drag has just become the third king of the or whether or not they think, you know what, we're actually way more interested in keeping control over the karma pick. You know, the Gragas, it was very potent. Stark played it well. But at the same time, Hanser was really able to step up and I utilize the Nautilus very well, too. I am something Zari smacked up. I mean, he certainly was. I felt like that uh, in a lot of those fights, especially in the, the TV, It's probably the Roski. Damn, that's a quick little bugger. Um, lasting effects is used as damage control.
Then Lord Lord Happy Camel, I think also might have. I stopped once I started getting engaged. I'm trying to snipe the Jaren though. Well, this used his repair. Whoa. I did not realize I'd run aground. Nice. For two of the double kill. <laughs> Holy shit, that was a close quarters. <laughs> Apparently so, yeah. Fuck, that guy disabled so many things. Holy shit. Ah, oh, fuck, I just messed up that torpedo launch. God damn fucking guy disabled my engine again.
Nice. Other free end. Coming from the other free end. Fuck yeah. thing is this actually reminds me a lot of the North American final where you had two big wins for one team you then had the comeback game for the other team and then the fifth and final game was intense back and forth extremely long game but uh, where it was all decided in the final fight is that gonna be this Captain I Lowry? really <laughs> hope that's it the, the NALCS spring split 2017 finals were one hell of a series to watch and this could go that same distance we're already most of the way there. We, we just are, need this yeah. last game to be epic. As long as this isn't a wash, it'll be a phenomenal ending. Like, there are so many interesting players to watch, right? Optimus on this bid. The last time he went up against the Sith Rex. Is there Samson just perma beached? Uh, Optimus, I don't know. However, He's not doing anything. Uh, now he's off the rock. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't notice. It'd be really hard for me to believe that because there's nothing in fucking range. I'm saying it's a new player. Apparently, this code. But when you've got Kraga supporting and Karma support, Karma's gonna eh, take over a little bit early on. Once the Slay gets a couple levels under his belt, same for Archie, they should have a little bit more pushing power. Trading power is pretty decent too, but if you just don't want to risk it against Mezzo or Karma, so you can take a couple of long hands over here. And Gigabyte Marines have come so far to get to this point. Throwing back to what we talked about when this series first began, a team that everybody was. Okay. Why don't you pick? It's sort of time. Oh, I actually have to think now.
definitely be keeping an eye on how well Slay can deal with that massive croc heading towards him as we get to the point of the game where those two are going to be seeing each other. But right now, all Slay and Archie really get to deal with is a big face full of Ezreal and Karma, which is a whole lot of pokes yep. heading your way pretty much constantly. Yeah, that's why uh, having that long sword and three health Ready? is always a bit of an advantage. It gives you a little bit more sustain. Yep. Okay, here we go. Is bots any good? Alright. So, where do you guys want to head? C? B has more internal cover. C has more... Wow, well, that guy's really annoyed at the Farragut. No, the guy picked the fight with the Farragut. Taking the Farragut in against um, Aki is... Yeah, it depends. It's brave, let's put it that way. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. It's Presumably he...
smoke's about to die. Oh, are you kidding me? Four overpens? Three overpens and he gets a citadel. Ghost. Ghost, you're getting way too aggressive. position. Greed. Copious amounts of greed.
friggin' dispersion. Oh, he's turning. Damn it. Yeah, that mug is gonna uh, run the wood from me. I got the kill with the Citadel. Exert enough pressure of to rely on the one two one to be able to get themselves a few extra. <sighs> Sarks just being bullied around relentlessly by Haunter at this point. You can tell where that CS advantage is coming from. It's Levi. Uh, I'll just have to be happy with 66k in third place. <laughs> yeah. You did more damage than I did. I did 49. I still lost credits, but oh well. How? Premium consumables. Uh oh. Yeah. The problem with having a lot of premium consumables. Lots of costs. Yeah, true enough. Uh, I chose the Colorado. So goes. Yep. Do you have defensive fire equipped, Siren? No, should I? Yes.
Yep. Okay. the Drake comes around, then he can make it into the fight. No big deal. Playful trickster. Efficiency right there. Resets the auto attack as well as clearing out the rest of the wave. Doesn't take any damage either, and it's still 30 seconds. And Gigabyte Marines even have control over Scuttle. So they're in a great position. Haunt is now going to be sent up top because he has his TP available. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if Stark actually also goes up top play and then Ultimate starts pushing down bottom. Bear in mind that he's also now level 14. He has a level above Yoksin. So that's going to be a big deal in these fights. Zonyas and the Proto Belt completed. Uh, of course, it's the Shirakaku. Damn guys it. To this dragon is going to be a big deciding factor in this game. Mm, I hope he's at 3 1 2. Uh, they also have a good set off. True. I'm in one more while. The next fight that does break out always ends up going completely crazy. As TSM pulled away, spin scare and flashes. Oh my god! Out on the western flank. Doable. Now coming in from behind on top of Levi. We want to go for A? Yeah. There's only two DDs and one scene from the moon. So, yay! And we're all stopped here. So, there's that too. Yep. How are you liking the hipster? I'm kind of struggling on and off with it. Like, sometimes they do pretty good, sometimes not so good. Uh, so, what, what you might want to do is break further west than me. And, uh,. Fence at range because she, she's fairly agile. Yeah. And this thing isn't. Wants to get in close and hug people. Also, I, I probably don't abuse the German AP as, as much as I should. Uh, stick with the AP. Learn to get yeah. used to how it works. Because a higher tier, you're going to be using it all out. Well, it depends on if they're angling against you. True, but because if even they if they angle, you'll do no damage. Yep. Unless you can get superstructure or gun hits, and they are very hard to even get. Some superstructures. Guy is going in. Nice. Fuck him up. Going for the Pensacola first. Now Haunter has his spirit to this gun getting tanky on that redaction as well as very threatening. Nice part about building all these health items which just are so impossibly difficult to kill. That was not enough lead. Load, rooted. Biofrost continuing to look for something if he can find it, but all he finds is a couple more breaking waves for him. He doesn't really want to go in there anymore. Really worried about. Well, look at this gold though. It's actually only 2,000 in the favor of TSM. They get themselves a fair number of turrets, but it's actually still equal to that of the Gigabyte Marines. Mid lane still holds strong for Optimus and the crew. Once is just now he's reached the flame horizon. He's having an immaculate game. 16 to the level 13 of Star. Oh my word. Yeah, that's not even a close contest there in the top lane. It's now so so jumped on yet again. Haunter, at this point, you don't even care about the turret damage almost. Just hanging out, putting more damage into this one. Gigabyte Marine. Although the game is tied 7-7 seven to seven in terms of kills, they are on their back foot for now. Since Garen going to be caught out, a good punish, a good catch opportunity here. Juggled back, the redemption cannot Baker. save him, but Haunter is in the fight, gets one in return, but he's going to be taken down. That is a huge pickup for the Marines as they go 3 for 1. They end up losing the tower, but the Gigabyte Marines win out on the fight. Haunter, I thought that was going to end in disaster when he gets yeah, charged and then the whole four members. Ghost, why are you so far forward? They do 
just that. Because I pushed in to get the guy to... Why would you do that? That's way more aggressive than you need to be. You can just hear Sven, he's just trying to... I could have just come... I, you could have just waited for my next spread and such. And let me just annihilate him. Stark drops so quickly, but they just keep cutting back Slay and Levi. To make sure that he stays at arm's length. I pretty much wrecked the Pensacola. Uh, he's out of my range. Carrier's on this side. That was a lovely target, eight rig. Yeah. But then again, I'm a fucking Lexington without any fucking that's stock against the fucking Shokaku. That's two, two, two. Ugh. And everything is super fucking ripped up. She'll actually recover, will reload fast about the same time as my Torp
against him. So ultimately, if this series fate comes down to a 50-50 at Baron, it couldn't be much more poetic than that. <laughs> I did not realize that the Gigabyte Marines had this within them. I, I, there was an element of me that thought, maybe, maybe if they play like they did versus Lions, they could bring it to tier 7. That's exactly what they did. Coming they up did behind you, sir. But tier 7 has just fought back so well in games 3 and games 4. And the Gigabyte Marines now, they are bringing it even to tier 7. And regardless of win or lose, they can be proud of their performance because these guys have shown a huge on the international stage. 34 minutes in, I think we can safely say that this game did go the way most teams thought it did. And considering we're at 900 gold so far between these two teams, it's only going to keep going like that until we eventually have one of these nexus to explode. But it might just come down to the final team fight. Who knows? Nine turrets and four turrets, though. So inhibitor line still completely intact for both teams. But look at the two sideways. They're actually pushing in favor of TSM. Top is stacking up nicely. Bottom yeah, stacking in mid, which means at the moment Stark or Optimus get spotted on one of these side lanes, that gives a big avenue for TSM to find some awesome Nice. nice. Losing the air war, definitely. Hey, Saren, if you could focus these fighter planes, that would be great. Saren? something that is when you start moving in ever so slightly deeper <sighs> gaining some of that control and now look at the darkness from Optimus he has no idea where the enemy is but they will certainly spot him at any time Optimus behind enemy the lines the big white marines might look for the pinch here it's starting such here a we go. tense moment in this game it could go to heaven or hell for either team to to be. depending on who plays it right Shot Barrage comes through, Turtle jumping over the wall for a little bit of extra damage. Bjergsen looking to make the stun onto Slay, not going to be doing it. Chains of Corruption come out and lock him down, but it will not result Ghost, in much. Ghost, whatever you do, if you the could, don't turn into the air zone. Okay. Pain, void ah, crap. Uh, I'm going to drop him. Ready. Mid lane tier 2 just barely dropping to the minion aggro as TSM backs away. Hunter, Elixir of Iron up, chasing Optimus out of there. Over 4,000 health on this Renekton. Playing a very patient game, TSM. They already had the push in mid when they were fighting over their own vision, which means that it was a very easy transition after Slay had used his ultimate to just quickly take down their tier two into middle lane. Very calculated, clean macro play. And now with the dragon spawning, that's actually the Elder. Look at this two man unit coming out from both Wild Turtles and Scarab. They're going to try and rush this down. Let's see how Gigabyte responds. This is not a team that you can expect them to dilly dally around and not make a call. TSM now have to try to be stop quick. Gigabyte Marines from taking that Baron. Equalizer comes oh, down. Good. Hunter might be in some trouble. Bjergsen going to be using the Zodius to survive the fish. Turtle tries to shift forward. Hunter's going to be taken down. But they trade him away for Stark. It's one for one. Archie taking some damage in the back line. Optimus still looking to find the damage on the Turtle if he can. Zodius Hourglass giving himself alive. A double kill for Bjergsen. Slay. Now he's going to get himself away. Slay takes the kill to Fiskaren. It's a two for two as both sides have low health. The piercing arrow finds its way into turtles back. Nice work, you guys. TSM has priority on the mid lane. But they're all going back yeah, to the top lane or a jungle die for TSM. But the mid and top die for the Gigabyte Marines. That was such a close fight. That could have gone either way. If anybody made even the slightest bit of mistake, that could have been game. That could have been Baron. So let's just see exactly how it happened. That was very early on. Shit.
front line ends up getting focused now. Optimus trying to clean up the back line, but I think Gigabytes can get themselves the Elder Drake. I could really do with that Miyoko not being a thing. Fucker keeps launching salvos at me from beyond my spotting range. See you soon. Oh, uh, wait, what? He's gonna go to dinner. Yeah, have a good one. Yep. We've got the big buff under their belts. They're the ones pushing up. But the side lane setup from TSM is not optimal. They need to be playing on all three lanes to properly use this Baron. And at the moment, they're just trying to group up. And I think that with the wave clear of Levi and Slay, they're going to be buying plenty of time. You also have the Rumble Ultimate too. But TSM, they still have two minutes left on this Baron buff. They can still continue on with their siege. And the big threat. Oh you boy, have I actually made 1100 credits. You land one stun, and that point. target's going to die in an instant. Plus, he's right. 